If I seem uh, unenthused in this intro, it's because I got up at 5 a.m. today for what turned out to be no reason, and uh, I've just been a little funky. <laughs> We're gonna survive this. <sighs> what is up, everybody? It is Jess, and welcome to another video. Today's video is just gonna be a pretty basic climbing vlog. There was a wall reset in my home gym and none of the roots had grades yet, so it was just a really cool time to just kind of mess around. If my voice sounds if my voice sounds weird in the voiceovers, it's because I'm pretty sure I'm coming down with something. I've been pounding hot tea like a maniac, but couldn't save the voice. It's fine. Just it's fine. <laughs> if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you don't like this video, That's on you. That's on you, you know? And you need to sit with that. Anyway, that's uh, all I have, so let's just get into it. As you guys may remember, I have been working on this V3 orange project here for about two weeks now, and I was making no progress, like totally stuck, had no idea what I was supposed to do, and was really about to throw in the towel on it. Then at the end of a very long session where I realized that my back facing camera shoots in 1080, which is way better than the garbage fire that I had been shooting in, I finally made some tangible progress and I was really excited to come back in fresh and hopefully finish this route. What happened? I'm in the middle of filming a project video and now it's gone. It's heartbreaking. It was right there. On to better things, I guess. With my project taken by the cruel, cruel climbing gods above, it was time to mess around on the fresh wall and play Guess That Grade, America's favorite game show where the grades are made up and the points don't matter. The rules of the game are very simple. Find a route you think you could probably climb and get on it. If you send the route, great. If not, you didn't know the grade, it's not your fault. This yellow route is going to be our first contestant on Guess That Grade. This route was friendly, straightforward, and at the end of the day, I'd give it a V0. You ever get to the gym and after two minutes of light cardio decide warming up is for chumps and you're not going to do anything else, just start your workout? Yeah, that's exactly what I did. With hoodie still on, I decided to get to work on this taupe root here in the corner. I don't usually like dihedral roots, they make me really nervous, but that is where the root setters at my gym have decided they were going to put all their V3s recently, so I've had a lot of practice with them. The starting sequence of this route was pretty straightforward. The difficult part came when I needed to figure out how I was supposed to get to that final handhold. I didn't know if I needed the crack in the gray wall or if the large handhold on the green wall would eventually be a foothold, and I also was unsure if I actually needed all the footholds on the gray wall in the first place. As someone who is still relatively inexperienced, as well as being a visual and kinesthetic learner, it's really hard for me to read roots from the ground. More often than not, I just have to get on the wall and start trying to figure it out from there. You can tell by the fact that my hoodie's coming off that we are getting serious about sending this route. As for the pretty bad angle, I will say I ordered a tripod on Amazon, it should be here in a couple days, but in between then I will be climbing with my husband so he can record for me. And hopefully things will start looking better on your end as well.
After a couple attempts, I got pretty comfortable with the foothold situation on the gray wall and finally started making a more focused effort on getting to that final handhold on the green wall. Using this weird half moon warrior position thing, I could touch it, but there was no way I was going to get my left hand off that big hold in order to actually officially send the root. I kept trying it, but all I could hear in my head was my mom going, I don't like that, Jessica. I didn't like that, Jessica. So I just kept bailing out of fear. I decided to take a break from the taupe root and work on this pretty simple looking pink root. I'd probably give this like a V1, nothing too challenging. There weren't any footholds for the first couple moves, which I didn't mind because I've been working on my flagging and contralateral movements. But once you get past that, it's like cake. After sending that pink root, I decided to just get on the start of a bunch of different ungraded roots that seemed harder than I was capable of. Just, I don't know, to mess around. I sped it up for you so you don't have to watch me flail for three minutes straight. After playtime was over, I decided to go back to that V2 and keep working on it. I was determined that that half moon pose was not the answer, and after a couple attempts, I actually ended up cracking it and sending the root. But when I went back to my phone to watch the footage, this is what I saw. Unfortunately, my original file was corrupted or something, so I don't have the footage of my first send. So I just went back and did it again, which luckily this isn't a super grippy route or anything, and I had the stamina to go back and do it again for you guys, otherwise you were just going to have to trust me, you know? After figuring out what I believe to be the intended beta, I would give this probably like a V2. I was making it way harder than it needed to be for the first 40 minutes of being at the gym, and once I figured it out, it was like super easy. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you liked this video and I thank you for spending just a couple minutes of your day with me, whether you are a beginner boulderer, a random YouTube watcher, or my brother Brandon, who's actually having arm surgery today. So Brandon, I hope you feel better soon. I will talk to you when you wake up. That's all I have for you guys today and I will see you in the next one. Bye!